Keeping a mailing list is a great way for you to keep in touch with your website visitors. It can also be a really good avenue for you to promote your product or services to people who might be genuinely interested in what you have to offer. This tutorial is going to show you how to embed a mailing list signup form on your website. In case you are not familiar, the application I am showing you is called MailChute. MailChute is a mailing list manager that will allow you to easily embed your signup form on your website. You can then manage all of the email addresses on the list and send them emails whenever you desire. For this demonstration, we're going to stick with the golf theme and assume I am running a golf website. The first thing I'm going to do is save my document. I do this by clicking File and going to Save As. I will then name my project and save it. The next thing I will do is click on the mailing list button. Currently, I have no list because this is a brand new document. I will click on the plus sign to add a new list. If I double click on my list, the list editor will appear. This is where all members of my mailing list will appear after they have been added. So now we're going to begin making our mailing list signup form. The first thing we're going to do is change some of the field names. These are going to be the fields for the information that we want to get from people who are signing up to our mailing list. So here I will input just a few examples of the information I might want to collect from potential customers. When I'm finished inputting the fields, I will press done and my next step will be to set up the subscribe page. In this first step, I'll need to give my list a name. I'm going to call it Jeremy's Golf Shop. The list's short name will be what is used in your signup form's URL. This name must be unique across all MailChute users, so I'll just add some random digits to the end of it to ensure it is unique. You can do the same if you'd like, or you can click on this check button to see if what you have entered is unique or not. Next, I'll enter a password for my list, followed by a list description. In the Owner's Details section, I will need to fill out all of these fields. The owner email is especially important as this is the email address that users will see when they sign up to the mailing list, as well as the email address where you will be notified of a sign up. The welcome message can be customized to your liking or you can leave it as is. In the custom field section, you will need to tick off whatever custom fields you want included on your sign up form. I will tick off the ones I customized earlier in the tutorial. You can choose from four different types of fields you want to use. You can also input a default value for each field, as well as indicate if you want the field to be a required field or not. In the link section, here is where we will get our code for embedding the form on our website. I'll simply press the publish button and the embed code will appear. You will also notice that two links appear. The first link will take us to the subscribe page. The second link will take us to the unsubscribe page. When you create your form, click on these links so you can see firsthand what your subscribe and unsubscribe pages look like. Now I'm going to highlight the embed code and copy it. In RapidWeaver, I'm going to add a new page. I'm going to choose the HTML code page option. I will simply paste the embed code and as soon as I click on the preview button, I will be able to see my signup form. Now you might notice here that some of my signup form is cut off. All I have to do is go back to the embed code and change the value next to height and check to see if I can now see my entire form. And that is how you set up your mailing list signup form. Remember to save your work as you go in MailChute. For more MailChute instructional videos, visit the MailChute product page at RageSW.com slash MailChute.